Mars Orbiter mission will be launched by the extended version of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle known as the PSLV XL from Sri Harikota, the spaceport of India. The rocket will lift off from the ground using its first stage solid rocket motor and the strap-on boosters. As it travels through the atmosphere, the first stage and the strap-ons will burn out and separate from the vehicle and the second stage liquid engine takes over. When the rocket comes out of the atmosphere, the heat shield which protects the satellite from the atmosphere will open out and drop down. Subsequently, the second stage will burn out and hand over the flight to the third stage solid rocket motor. The third stage will again jettison from the rocket after completing its thrust phase. During the first three stages of the flight, ISTRAC downrange stations located at Bangalore, Sri Harikota, Port Blair, Brunei and Bayak will track the vehicle and continuously deliver the vehicle telemetry to the control center. The rocket then enters a long coast phase of unpowered ballistic trajectory for a duration of about 26 minutes. When the vehicle sets out of sight of the Bayak ground station, there will be a gap of around 10 minutes where it will not be visible to any ground station. Subsequently, it will be spotted and tracked by two ship-borne terminals located in the Western Pacific Ocean where the major vehicle events will be monitored. The first ship is located at such a position where it can monitor the ignition of the fourth stage liquid rocket engine. Similarly, the location of the second ship is chosen so as to monitor the burnout of the fourth stage and satellite separation. Finally, the solar panels will deploy for generation and supply of solar power to the spacecraft, followed by the deployment of the high gain antenna, which will support deep space communication 